Good evening, Virgo women. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Ladies, what I like to do is to just go on and give you a who's coming towards you reading, which will be valid until the end of next month, ladies, okay? Today, ladies, I've decided to go on and use my regular deck as I've already shuffled and it's illustrated as we see here. And ladies, the purpose of this reading is basically just to share with you the the man or the predominant men or male energy that I'm kind of feeling coming towards you from now until the end of this end of next month, okay? Let's go on and get started, ladies, by just looking at a few general observations. And ladies, throughout this reading, if it resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, let's go on and get started in regards to the man that I'm going to kind of see coming towards you, okay? I'm just going to um, do a, make a few general observations here. Ladies, he appears to be very health conscious, I'm, I'm feeling, okay? He looks like he's very spiritual or religious in some sense, and I'm feeling he's very ambitious. Ladies, I'm feeling he's very tall and perhaps a little egotistical or either self-centered, okay? I'm kind of feeling that, you know, he's unstable, ladies, uh, commitment phobic, okay? And he seems to be dis a bit distressed or he's kind of needy or have this vent uh, victim uh, mentality um, type approach that I'm kind of feeling. He might even be your husband, ladies, or just be a family man, or he might be involved in real estate or perhaps a landlord of some sort. I'm certainly feeling that he's very creative and artistic, you know, and he's quite sensitive, okay, and perhaps, ladies, intuitive, okay, and I'm feeling that he's a party animal, he's very social, and I'm feeling that he's very popular, okay, but a, a bit immature or very young-looking, you know, in some sense that I'm kind of getting here. Okay. Ladies, let me just go on and just uh, describe or kind of uh, convey to you what I'm kind of seeing that may have occurred or, or will occur with you with this guy, with your involvement here. I'm just looking at the cards that are kind of falling to your past. So therefore, we're going to just examine these cards and combine it in a batch type interpretation. I'm kind of feeling that, you know, you're kind of feeling this person as your soulmate. It's like a soulmate type connection or a serious type connection, but you might have kind of felt the relationship uh, very confining, I'm feeling, in some way due to perhaps cheating or infidelity and might have decided to kind of part ways that I'm kind of seeing that's more connected towards your past. And I'm kind of feeling that you felt, it looks like, or you're going to be feeling a bit let down due to kind of challenges and burdens. However, looking towards your cards here that falls towards your future, it kind of suggests that I kind of see you ladies feeling a bit more comfortable in your situation. Um, perhaps even ladies settling down or perhaps even for some of you ladies kind of starting a family um, where you will feel a bit more grounded. OK, I also feel that your union looks like it's it looks like it will strengthen. And some of you might even meet a new romance, okay? And what this batch of cards is kind of suggesting to me, um, is you are kind of urged, ladies, to kind of listen to your intuition. I kind of also see some type of a gathering that you're going to have either a reunion or a retreat, or it might be somewhere that you decide to go like to a concert or a public event where you're either going to meet a new person or you're going to be going with the person that I'm about to explain to you, okay? Uh, I'm kind of feeling that if a new person, he might not be ready, ladies, to commit or settle down as he appears and might, as I suggested from just looking at your observations or making a few observations that he's a bit immature and the relationship might not last long. But for some of you, okay, a new beginning is certainly at hand, at hand and you might consider taking things slowly as you see here with these cards, Okay. So, ladies, let's get right into your reading and start with the card falling to the bottom of the deck. Here we have this Ten of Cups. I'm, I'm sorry, Ten of Hearts card. And that connects with water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, this card is all about loyalty and friendship, ladies. Um, so, this man that you perhaps have been contemplating or that you're going to be meeting appears to be someone you already know, okay, or potentially a new person that might be kind of coming towards you. And I feel that he likes helping people and it's very humble and I'm kind of getting a sense of, you know, brown eyes or medium coloring. 
And ladies, for some of you who might even work as a police or a doctor, you know, a consultant, okay, a counselor, a, an assistant, or even a soldier. He might even does, ladies, some type of security work or might work as a therapist of some sort or a nurse or even, ladies, a veterinarian, okay, or does some type of security type work, okay? Your next card here, ladies, is that Seven of Hearts card, and that also draws our attention right back to these water signs, Cancer, Scorpios, and Ochrises. So it certainly shows that you're going to feel a strong soulmate type or a comic type connection with this man. And this man is certainly potentially religious, spiritual, and very health conscious, ladies. And you're fine that he will also be feeling this type of strong karmic or past-like connection that you two may have shared together, okay? And ladies, for some of you, he might even, I'm kind of feeling, he might be um, a spiritual teacher. And I'm kind of getting the age range of 30s and 40s, okay? And I'm also seeing green and hazel eyes, okay? And he might even work, ladies, for some of you with medicine or health care or, again, the hospital or the healing arts or some type or, you know, work um, in the pharmaceutical type industry. I'm also feeling for some of you ladies, I'm seeing long type hair, okay? Uh, let's move right along to your next card here. We have that seven of spades card and that connects to air type sign, ladies. So that's um, Libra. Gemini in Aquarius, okay? So this card is associated with things of an official nature, ladies, when you see this card. So this man, as I've already suggested, he appears to be a bit tall, and I'm feeling that he might even work for the government or courthouse or bank or maybe involved in education in some sort, okay? But he's certainly educated and might be a bit overbearing to you at times, okay? I'm kind of feeling too that he might even be a judge or works for a major corporation as an executive or even perhaps, uh, you know, any type of uh, successful type established company. But I'm feeling that he's arrogant, conceited, and even possibly slim, I'm kind of getting. Okay, let's move right along, ladies, and examine this next card here. We have that Queen of Pentacles, I mean, Diamonds card there. So that connects us with earth signs. Taurus. Okay, Capricorns and or Virgos. Okay, so this card certainly is all about decisions, ladies, and choices. So this man appears a bit unstable, confused, doubtful, uncertain, and might be going through a crisis of some sort. I'm kind of feeling okay. He might even be a devil talker, ladies, and even a bit, ladies, sometimes with this card, he might even be bisexual. Okay. Um, I'm kind of feeling that he's hiding or he's leading somewhat of a devil life. And he might even drives ladies for a living or uh, be a mediator of some sort, an arbitrator, even a tourist or even a life coach, okay? But he certainly dresses alternatively and differently, okay? I'm, I'm picking up medium to fair skin or reddish type hair for some of you, okay? The next card here, ladies, is that six of clubs, so that connects us with fire signs. Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. And this card, is, ladies, is all about concerns and worries, okay? So he appears rather depressed, as already suggested. Lonely. Guilty about something, ladies. He might be a bit sick. You know, he's very needy and kind of complains. And he whines a little bit too much, I'm kind of feeling here with this card, okay? And he has, ladies, I'm seeing very broad shoulders with great posture, you know? And again, he's pure, slender, bitter, and reserved, and might even, ladies, for some of you, be a minister, okay? Your next card here, ladies, is this Ace of Hearts there, so that identifies him, so I know there's no need for any further discussion. So let's go on to your next card, ladies, and, you know, see what there is here that uh, we need to kind of talk about as it relates to this man, okay? So actually... Um, we're gonna just I'm shuffling another card just to just put up for you guys. So I'm gonna put up this King of Hearts card there. Oops. Uh it fell, but you guys see what it is. Okay, the King of Hearts. Okay. So this connects with water signs and this card, ladies, is all about stability and you know, domestic affairs. So this man you know, kind of seems financially well off and very family oriented. And this might be a new person. Um, that you will, that might enter your life, ladies, I'm kind of feeling, because it's more 
um, in towards your future, okay? And I'm seeing medium or brown hair, and I'm also seeing facial hair, but he's certainly very protected, well-built. So this is certainly a different man that I'm kind of feeling. He appears to me, ladies, to be stocky built, very introverted, and he might even have a home office or works in construction or telework, so he's a realtor of some sort or kind of does something with real estate or maybe landlording or something like that, okay? Ladies, let's move right along to your next card. We have this Eight of Hearts, okay? Once again, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this card connects some ladies with our emotions and our feelings. So this man is certainly very seductive and loving. And he's very sensitive. His feelings get hurt easily. And he's very well recognized, ladies, and potentially famous for some of you. Like a celebrity of some sort. For some of you, I'm also seeing blonde hair color and a full face, moody and very pale skin. Okay, he's very emotional, sensitive, attractive. And again, ladies, as I suggested, works in some type of creative type field or does PR work, marketing, advertising, or could potentially be a counselor. The next card here, ladies, is the Eight of Spades, and that connects again to, eight, to the air type sign. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay? And so this card is all about crowds and social activity. So this man might be a bit promiscuous, ladies, that I'm kind of seeing coming towards you in the future, okay? A party animal and very social, okay? He loves walking, hiking, and maybe, ladies, fishing, okay? He's very outgoing, and I'm feeling a very st street smart, you know, personality, okay? He might even be a gardener or a farmer or an event planner, but again, ladies, he might simply be playing the field, you know, having no real desire to kind of really settle down. So watch out for this guy that you might meet in the future, okay? And ladies, finally, let's look at your last card here. We have this Jack of Spades. That connects once, us once again to air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this card, ladies, is all about innocence and immaturity. Therefore, this man might be shorter, irresponsible, and looks a bit younger, okay? He's very naive, and he takes a very naive approach to living. He also appears very shy and inexperienced, ladies, and he might even work a part-time job or kind of works in like a startup-type business, or he might even be a student or, 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 or someone that's kind of in school at the moment, okay? So, ladies, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought for you. Once again, if it resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Ladies, I'm presently offering a promotion, which will end on the 3rd of next month, $20 a question. If interested, you can certainly contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for your time and viewing, and I certainly look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.